Two ropes shown in the bird's eye view are used to drag a crate 3.2 meters across the floor. How much work is done by the friction force? How much work is done by force T1? And how much work is done by the force T2? So T1 and T2, of course, are the ropes. And the distance that it goes, they say, is 3.2 meters. And so the direction, then, is the ropes are pulling it this way and friction is fighting against it back that way. Friction force, so I'll say K for kinetic friction. Okay, so now remember we talked about before that the angle that we use is the angle between the force vector and the direction. So since we're going in the direction of T1 and T2, the angle that we're used for both of those is 20 and 30. And then the direct the angle that we use for friction is going to be 180 degrees. Okay, so let's write the equation for work again. I'm gonna change color actually. Let's do green. Okay, so work is equal to a force times the distance times the cosine of the angle between the the force and the, di the uh, distance or the direction. Okay, so for, let's say they want friction first, so friction, kinetic friction is equal to the force of 500 newtons times the distance of 3.2 meters and the um, cosine of 180, like we said. And that gives us a negative 1600 joules. Okay, so for T1, work is equal to that force, which is 326 newtons, 326 newtons times 3.2 meters times the cosine of 20. And that is equal to 980.287 joules. And then um, I believe that they want you to put these in kilojoules. Um, so you just move the decimal place over three. So for um, for friction, that gives us a negative 1.6 kilojoules. For T1, that gives us a 0 0.98 kilojoules. And let's move it up a little bit and do T2. So T, T2 work is equal to the force of 223 newtons times the distance of 3.2 meters and the cosine of the angle between the force and the distance is 30. And that gives us 617.99 joules or 0 0.618 kilojoules.